Hey guys, welcome to the second chapter of AI workflows with Langraph, a series where we implement real life AI automations using patterns proposed by Anthropic. In this episode, we are going to implement automated legal document analyzer. So if that's something that you are interested in, or you want to learn how to speed up the execution time of your AI workflow, this video is for you. I'm Michael. And for the past few years, I've been building AI-powered solutions that help companies save time, money, and basically scale their operations. And while we all want to build AI agents, the truth is that companies need the systems that are consistent over time and that are easy to evaluate and to monitor. And this is why AI workflows are important because, well, basically, that's the only way to build such systems. Okay, guys, let's talk about the problem we're solving today and it's analyzing our LinkedIn document. The easiest way to do it would be to uh, put the whole document into the prompt and ask LLM to uh, do a whole job for us. The problem is that uh, we are asking for a really big chunk of work to be done uh, on a single inference. And in many cases, you will need to provide additional instructions and follow up questions until you are happy with the results. So. We simply cannot build AI automations that work this way. Uh, so the way to do it is to um, divide the whole process into number of steps. Each step is easy to accomplish by LLM and basically go step by step until you've got the final results. And we've built such uh, automations in the previous episodes where we implemented the prompt chaining pattern. So it would look like this. We've got the legal document as the input, we work on definitions, obligations, risk analysis, opportunities, cross-reference validation, key insights, critical issues, and finally the report. The problem with this approach is that it takes a lot of time uh, for the final output. And if you think about the process, you can see that uh, first uh, five steps can be executed at the same time. And that's what we are going to do. We are going to use the parallelization pattern that will let us speed up the process by working on some of the steps at the same time. And it will look like this. So we've got the legal document, we are working on those steps at the same time, and we combine the knowledge from them in the critical issues, key insights, and the final report. Okay, so before we go into the code, let's see the final layout of the graph. We start with the document uh, content and basically generate the short summary of it. Then we split the execution into five branches we discussed before. And as you can see, each of uh, these branches is basically the sequential uh, process uh, itself, where we make sure that it's really easy for LLM to figure out what we wanted. And then we aggregate results, uh, identify, identify critical issues, and finally generate the report, report in the uh, markdown format. Okay, guys, so let's check the code, which is really similar to the previous one. We've got the state file, which looks like this. We've got the document text and document type as an input. And we've got the bunch of properties we want to be filled by the graph on execution time. We've got the nodes uh, that are split into a number of files to make it cleaner, basically. And we've got our graph file where we combine everything together and compile our graph. And the new additions are the utils where we got the free functions we uh, used to define the nodes. And we've got our prompts file where we've got all the prompts used by the graph. And since we already know how to define the nodes, edges, and compile the graph, and if you don't, check the previous episode, uh, let's focus on the parallelization, so how to make a graph execute some nodes at the same time. Okay, so the first step is to initialize the graph, and then we need to add all the nodes uh, into the graph. And then the final step is to connect the nodes with edges. So the first one is the starting node, and we connect it with generate the comment summary. And the next step is to make the five pipelines that are going to be executed in parallel. So we basically connect the generate document summary with the first node of each pipeline. So we've got the generate document summary that is connected with the analyze payment obligations, then with the 
analyze liability risk and so on. And then we need to uh, basically combine the output of these five pipelines into a single node called aggregate, aggregate results. And we do it by providing the edge between the array of uh, final nodes of each pipeline to the aggregate results. And then you've got the sequential process all till the end. Okay, so the reason why we cannot uh, define the edges between the final nodes of each pipeline to aggregate results separately is because how long graph uh, operates basically. So with the parallel branches, Langraph, Langraph takes the uh, first depth, basically, uh, of those pipelines and will execute all of them at the same time and will wait until all of them are finished. And then it will go to the level uh, 2, 3 and so on. The problem is that there is no level 3 in uh, those pipelines, there is no fourth node here, etc. So what and the problem is that it would execute the aggregate results faster for this pipeline and then for this one and so on. So what we need to do is to tell Langraph that it should wait until all of these nodes are finished until it executes the aggregate results. And we do it by basically creating the node between the array, edge between the array of nodes and the aggregate results. Okay guys, so it's time to see the created workflow in action. So let's open the terminal and let's type lang graph dev and if you click enter you will see the lang graph studio uh, so here's our graph and uh, what i've done is uh, i ask uh, llm to create the synthetic uh, agreement and plan of merger between two companies so let's copy a text here and let's uh, provide a document type basically and click submit. So what you will see is the execution of the uh, pipelines at the same time. And I would basically speed the process up uh, so we are not waiting and looking here for like a minute or two. Okay guys, so the workload finished job and right here we've got the final report. It's starting with the summary and overall assessment of where we've got the risk score and the opportunity score. And then for the each pipeline we've got the separate chapters. So for the risks we've got the critical issues, uh, liability, liability risks, warranty gaps and sequential, sequential commitment issues. Then we've got the obligations laid down. Uh, delivery timelines, reporting requirements, etc. And at the end, we've got the conclusionary recommendations. So if you are here to save some time to extract key information from your legal documents and make some analysis, then grab the code and give it a try. And if you're here to learn some things, I recommend to play around with the prompts and maybe put some evaluation meshing on each step and basically uh, try to make it better. Okay, so thanks for watching, it means a lot to me. If you don't want to miss uh, another episode, uh, click subscribe button so you will get the notification. And in the next episode, we are going to work on the routing, so basically giving ability to our workflow to decide which path to take to accomplish a task. So we are getting into this gray area between the workflows and agents. So until the next time, cheers.